Assalamu alaikum and hello dear viewers. Today we will discuss about the sense making of a leader that half sense making of the leader is important and significant in a decision making process. So that half leaders they make sense of the world of international politics and international relations. It is very important. But before that we have to talk about the perception because this perception is responsible for a leaders taking a certain course of action. That perception it affects the decision making of a leader. What is perception? The word perception is derived from a Latin word perceptio or perceptio which means a way looking at things. Perception of two individuals are different in the world and it depends on so many other things. I mean the factors which is the beliefs, the childhood memories, family structure, education, training, information, information presented, who present information, who frames the information, what is the structure of information, all these things it make perception of a leader of an individual. And then this perception plays significant role in a foreign policy decision making. Here we have example to illustrate this point of the Argentinian and Britain war of 1982. There are islands which is called Falkland Islands and in Argentina and in Latin American countries that is called Malvinas. So it is just in the backyard of Argentina. These islands are under the position of Britain since 1833. It was claimed by Argentina that historically these islands were part of Argentina. So there were rounds of negotiations between, between the Britain and Argentina, but with a partial success. Then at last in 1982, then a war happened when Cristiano Dividov visited these islands from Argentina, then a diplomatic a hot channel was created between the two and uh, a war happened of course with the defeat of Argentina. So why this decision was taken? This is the question. It is taken based on the perception of the Argentinian leader because he was a dictator, the Leopold, he was a dictator and uh, he wanted to uh, have some kind of this adventure and he thought that the British would behave just like the Britain behaved in the Suez Canal crisis and also in Rhodesia and Zimbabwe. But it and also another problem that was the logistic. I mean Britain was very far away from Malvinas Islands or Argentina so there was an issue of dispatching its forces but the Britain did that Margaret Thatcher ordered for the dispatch of military forces to Malvinas Islands and a war happened. Actually, the leader of Argentina thought on one line based on perception and Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister of Britain thought on another line based on perception. Margaret Thatcher thought on the experience of the Munich Agreement and Munich Agreement was signed in 19, 1938 by the big powers of Europe with Germany. Of course, Chamberlain, the Prime Minister of UK was there and it appeased the Hitler. Why? Because Hitler was demanding a small strip of land inside the borders of Czechoslovakia and he claimed that the people living over there, they were ethnically, they were historically, they were Germans. So this land should be taken back from Czechoslovakia and should be a part of Germany. So negotiations held in 1938 in Munich, a conference was held, a meeting and an agreement was signed that is called Munich Agreement. That is also called appeasement policy. And what is appeasement policy? That when 
an enemy gives concessions to another its own enemy it is called appeasement policy so i mean you can other leaders uh, countries of europe they gave concessions to hitler and hitler took this sudetenland a small strip of land from czechoslovakia even czechoslovakia was not invited in this meeting and also agitated over it but that was a weak country so when sudetenland became part of germany then hitler attacked on the whole of czechoslovakia after that hitler attacked on poland which had border with czechoslovakia and that was the first day declared of the second world war that was the first september uh, 1939 so then the world leaders they thought that it was a blunder the munich agreement what they did it is why that's why it is also called the betrayal that they were deceived by the hitler so margaret thatcher thought about the munich agreement that it would be again a blunder that's why dispatched forces to to malvinas and then uh, the argentina was defeated another thing about the dictator of argentina he thought that time the people they were not happy with the uh, policies of its leader of their leader and uh, there was inflation there was uh, people they were most of the people they were jobless there were protests so just to divert their attention they started an adventure and a war with britain that is called diversionary theory of war and diversionary of theory diversionary theory of war it explains that when a leader is not capable to make its own public happy then he or she starts a war with another country an issue with another country just to divert the attention of the public so he did like this so that was about the perception of a leader that have leaders they make sense of the world <clears throat> there are theories of rationality one is normative theory of rationality it starts with the situation that requires decision process it that what are the relative foreign policy goals second what are the options third what are the pro and cons and fourth to make a decision so it finishes with a decision this theory prescribes decision process serves as a, as a standard for judgment assumption that process leads to best possible decision another is empirical theory of rationality it starts with the situation that requires a decision process at that who are the relevant decision makers what did they know and when it is important that how much knowledge they have and when they got this knowledge because crisis situation it requires less time and quick decision and then what options how did they interpret information the interpretation of information is also very much crucial what options are realistic and how they evaluated these options so it finished with the decision this theory says that decision making is a subject of investigation you have to investigate the decision making assumption that quality of process related to quality of decision another is satisfying what is satisfying quick decision satisfies rather than seeking an optimal solution sometimes it requires a quick decision rather than going to the final solution of a problem so heuristic chalking out options and choose in the light of their own experience that is the heuristic theory and poly heuristic theory mixture of normative and empirical theories that is poly heuristic theory so representation of the information framing of information decision frame historical analogies these are very much important historical analogy analogies just like uh, the leader of argentina thought uh, and compared this malvinas with that of 